Praise the Lord, dear people. Previously, on Sunday, we have read Numbers chapter 14. In that, we have seen that Israel people, they are refusing to go to a promised land which Lord told them to go and invade that land and flourish there and prosper over there, grow in your descendants, all that God told, the promised land which God given to them. They finally refusing to go inside that land even though God showed them that land, how it is, how the fruit are there, how the people are there over there, how the walls are there, just because they are afraid of something, the giant people, because of their armies, because of their enemies. That's why they are refusing to go into the land. That thing we have seen. And also after doing this, the rebels became somewhere there. And Moses going in front of the Lord, interceding for the people to forgive them for the mistake they are doing. They are not going into the land. Moses is telling the Lord and telling them to forgive them for their mistake which they are going to do. So Lord finally forgive them. Then also after that, there a futile invasion we have seen that without taking permission from the Lord, without consulting the Lord, they went for fight also that we have seen. And God told them that they are going to die in the wilderness only. They are going to die because of their old age, not a sudden death. Then also they didn't listen and after that a futile invasion attempt was attempted by the people of Israel. They gone into the land instead of consulting God according to God they should go. Means after consulting from the Lord that they should go for war or not. If they are well prepared, if God will help them, God will help them for defeating their enemies, God will protect against their enemies, that all things they have to ask. Without asking that all, they got. Even though Lord told them don't go, then also they got. And they ran away free from there. Some people might have died also in that war. So losses are going on, they are not listening to God. When God is telling do that, they are doing another thing. When God is telling do this, they are doing any other thing. These people finally are listening to their own wishes, their own will, what they are going to do. According to them only they are going to do and not listening to God, what God is saying. So in today's chapter what we are going to learn that we have to see, Numbers chapter 15. But before continuing with our scriptures, first we have to understand what God is going to teach us today. And all things that we are going to read, we need God's wisdom so that we may properly understand the things. First we need strength and guidance to read also from God. Then we need to some understand something. That wisdom also comes from God only because all the wisdoms come from God. We are nothing when God is not with us. For that reason we are going to first pray to God, to God so that God may help us to understand the scriptures which we are reading today. And as the way we will understand the scriptures and learn some life lessons also from that, and teach others also in our future references if I need. So let us start today's scriptures, Numbers chapter 5, in that we are going to see some of the laws which God is giving again to the people of Israel. For that reason we are going to first pray to God, that God may help us to understand the scriptures which we are reading today, learn some life lessons from that, and give our future references to other people who are in need. So first let us pray. Our Heavenly Father has you way with us, helping us to understand the scriptures previously, Numbers chapter 14, and that all we have seen, my Father, against you, against your law, these people are doing everything, my Father. You are saying one thing, they are doing one thing. That is not at all nice for us. You know everything, what is better for us, what is nice for us. In that we have to give our guidance and mind and everything, my Father. We have to fulfill in that way whatever you say. Not our own will we have to follow, my Father. Help us to understand that thing and follow your will till we live in on this earth. And when we reach to heaven also, help us to follow your will too, my Father, there also. Please help us in every way so that we may be bound to you, never lose from you, my Father. And today we are going to read Numbers chapter 15. As previously you were with us, help us to understand Numbers chapter 14. We ask your help today also, my Father, help us to read the scriptures nicely, understand it properly and learn some life lessons also from that. Please help us in every other way, my Father. We ask this prayer in the precious name of Lord Jesus Christ, my Father. Amen. So, Numbers chapter 15. Let us see what God is going to tell us today through that chapter, what God is going to speak to us today through Numbers chapter 15. 
loss of grain and drink offering so some loss are going over here we first only told that and discussed about that that loss are going to be given by god to moses so that moses may give to all the generation of the people and they are going to follow that loss if they are not going to follow their loss this loss there is a loss to them I mean something will happen to them for that reason they are going to follow this law otherwise something bad will happen to them so this laws are keeping so in order to maintain a proper integrity between all the people for that reason then also these people are not following some of the laws what will happen to them that all things we are going to see today laws of grain and drink offering when the lord spoke to moses saying speak to the children of israel and say to them when you have come into the land you are to inherit which i am giving you so god is going to give some land to this people and they are going to inherit when god is giving that land what they are going to do and you make an offering by fire to the lord a burnt offering or a sacrifice to fulfill a vow or as a free will offering or in your appointed feast to make a sweet aroma to the lord from the herd or the flock then he who presents his offering to the lord shall bring a grain offering of one tenth of an ephah of fine flour mixed with one fourth of a hin of oil and one fourth of a hin of wine as a drink offering you shall prepare with the burnt offering or the sacrifice for each lamb or for a ram you shall prepare a grain offering two tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with one third of a hin of oil and as a drink offering you shall offer one third of a hin of wine as a sweet aroma to the lord and when you prepare a young bull as a burnt offering or as a sacrifice to fulfill a vow or as a peace offering to the lord then shall be offered with the young bull a grain offering of three tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with half a hin of oil and you shall bring as a drink offering half a hin of wine as an offering made by fire as sweet aroma to the lord that this shall be done for each young bull for each ram and for each lamb or young goat so different kind of animals are being sacrificed here we can see a lamb a bull a ram for all of that different kinds of ingredients are used like grain offering ingredients are same but quantities are different we can see them so different types of animal different types of quantity different in their quantity as a grain offering as a drink offering like that only the difference we can see here is in grain offering only i think the three tens the and after that one fourth of a hin of oil one tenth and then one twenty is that all we can see three tens after that two tens after that one ten that all things we can see a difference in them each ram or each lamb and each bull have different quantity in their grain offering and you shall bring as a drink offering half a hin of wine as an offering made by fire as sweet aroma to the lord that it shall be done for each young bull for each ram or for each lamb or young goat according to the number that you prepare so you shall do with every one according to their number all who are native born shall do this thing in this manner in presenting an offering made by fire as sweet aroma to the lord and if a stranger stranger sojourns with you or whoever is among you throughout your generation and would present an offering made by fire a sweet aroma to the lord just as you do so shall he do one ordinance shall be for you of the congregation and for the stranger who sojourns with you an ordinance forever throughout your generation as you are so shall the stranger be before the lord one law and one custom shall be for you and for the stranger who sojourns with you and the lord spoke to moses saying to speak to the children of israel and say to them when you come into the land to which i bring you then it shall be when you eat of the bread of the land that you shall offer up a heavy offering to the lord you shall offer up a cake of the first of your ground meal as a heavy offering as a heavy offering of the threshing floor so shall you offer it up of the first of your ground meal you shall give to the lord a heavy offering throughout your generation so we may see that God is treating everyone, the people of Israel also, and stranger also equally. We should be maintained an equal law between them. Stranger also should maintain an equal law, and the people of Israel also should maintain an equal law. Both should be equal in front of the Lord. No difference should be there. 